All right, everybody. Welcome back to the garage, Super Wrench Bench. If it's your first time stopping by, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. You're always appreciated. Remember, leave a comment, join the discussion. So going around the internet, Scout Crafter has issued another challenge, which is always interesting and enjoyable. It's usually a project to get you out in your shop. So this challenge is a short hammer challenge, and uh, I did a short hammer. But before we get to that ham, ham, uh, short hammer, this is a relatively long handle. And if you really choke up on it, you can, you know, it gives you some options. But in some cases, you do need just a short handle. Like if I'm doing really delicate work, I'll choke up on it, but then you've got all this handle here that can interfere or get in the way. And so a short handle for light work is, is a good thing. If you're really going to town on something, you might need a bit of a longer handle. But as I've come to find out, hammer handles are customizable. Uh, one, the length that suits you may not suit me and you know, that they're very personal things. But uh, in general, the longer your handle, the more leverage you have. But you can get some pretty good leverage with a short handle. So, this is an example of a standard handle. It's a 12 ounce ball peen, it's power craft, it's very nice. I restored this in my Hammerthon video. I'll put a card to that up there. So, then, this little guy, I restored this as well. This was my dollar hammer. It's a little plum. So this handle comes in right at about eight and a quarter inches. And that's pretty nice because it gives you a nice, easy grip. I love this little hammer for, uh, you know, tapping on things. Yeah. Works really well. I like it. So I thought, okay, well this is a short hammer, but this really isn't the short hammer challenge because it came this way. Somebody already shortened it. I just cleaned it up. And I would go through all the steps on video, but Frankly, I was busy and didn't record it, so I'll just give you a bit of an overview as I show you the hammer. So here it is, and you've seen it if you follow me on Instagram, Mr. Super Wrench. This is a Williams ball peen, probably maybe a 16 ounce. Cleaned up the face and the peen on the belt sander, then on the grinder with the, or on the polisher with the fiber wheel. Uh, cleaned up this with the belt sander, the grinder, and the fiber wheel. This had some really deep pitting, so we had to go really deep on that. You may be able to see that. So yeah, there's kind of that depression. As far as the handle goes, scraped it down, sanded it with some 220. It's really in nice shape. Um, where'd it go? After I sanded it, well, before I sanded it down, after I had scraped it, I decided I wanted to take an inch off of it. As you can see, this is a nice tight grained handle. Um, it's good wood. So it cleaned up kind of nice. Again, scraped it down, sanded it, put a coat of stain on it, and then decided, okay, well now we need to paint it. So I used some uh, Rust-Oleum enamel paint and just brushed it on. Uh, let that dry, hit the whole thing with a coat of clear, and then put some wax on it. But I think this is going to be a nice little working hammer. I mean, this guy was kind of beat up and ugly. Um, had a big nail sticking out of it, so I ground that down. 
either way, I, I think this guy's gonna hang on the bench and get some miles, and I think we'll like it. And you know, I, I think this was a good idea. I think maybe everybody should have a short-handled hammer for just knocking around things. Anyway, this is it. This is my entry into the Scout Crafter Short Handle Challenge. Uh, short hammer, short handled hammer challenge? Short hammer challenge. Small hammer challenge. Anyway, it's a challenge nonetheless. I think this guy turned out nice and uh, we're gonna put it up on the workbench. There it is, up on the bench. Actually, I'll have to get its own little hook and maybe hang it right there. But it's probably going to get as much use as this little guy. All right. I think this about wraps it up for the Scout Crafter Small Hammer Challenge or Short Hammer Challenge. Thanks for watching. Remember, give me that like and subscribe. And remember, here in the Super Wrench Garage, we always try to use our head for more than a hat rack, and so should you. Catch you in the next video. Thanks.